all right my people welcome back onto this channel well this is another strong one reaching us don't cause nigeria in your sermons if a leader is bad say no to another term Tinumbu appeals to religious leaders. Oh my goodness, this is another strong one. Right now, hmm, the president gave this advice when he held Ramadan after with uh, traditional rulers and the religious leaders at the state house on Thursday in Abuja. He urged them to desist from denigrating the nation in their sermons. President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu has advised Nigerian religious leaders to stop any leader they perceive is underperforming in his role from renewing his term of office. Well, unto this, the president gave this advice when he held Ramadan iftar with traditional rulers and then religious leaders at the state house on Thursday in Abuja. He urged them to desist from denigrating the nation in their sermons. The president said yesterday in Abuja I attended the barrier of the 17 soldiers fight in action at Okuama Delta State, I saw their pregnant wives and their little kids. The love of the nation is in your hands. Pray for our country. Educate our children, all the members of our churches and then mosque. The sermon we give to them is important. You don't condemn your own nation. I am a Yoruba man and then as our father will say, no matter how slippery the bottom of your child is, you must leave the beats there. Leave the beast there. This is your country. Do not condemn it in sermons. Do not abuse the nation. Leadership are meant for changes. Yes, this leader is not all that good. Fine. Wait until it is time to renew his mandate and then say no. But don't condemn your country. Don't cause Nigeria. It is a beautiful land, land of prosperity. Earlier this year, Nigerians staged protest against the hardship created by Tinumbu's economic policies. Sarah reporters had reported how the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC held a nationwide protest in February over the current economic situation in the country. All right, my people, this is exactly what is reaching us right now. Yes, yeah, so the president had made it clear that ah, nobody should say no a a bad word concerning the government that instead keep praying that one day it will be better and a lot of people have actually reacted onto that that well onto this one oh, the president has spoken well according to ken ndoka says well those who rigged themselves into offices will never have peace of mind because no peace for the wicked all right so oh, and uh, that's another one that has been said coming from Ibrahim Abubakar he says, well, I am beginning to like this man unconditionally because of his sincerity and uh, patriotism. As the president, tell me who among the leaders of Nigeria, both past and the president, can make such a bold, sincere statement. If Nigerians give this man support, Nigeria will be great again, and uh, he's right. If you keep you no know, abusing your country it is never fav it will never favor you because there is power in your tongue okay may god guide and then make you succeed our president may god bless nigeria all right this has been said by ibrahim abubakar well oh, hmm, according to kosi sokchoku okay kosi so chuku says well but she they grab it and then run leader will ever allow for a free and a fair election where the election electoral on pair will not glitch the presidential election and then the judiciary will not be compromised well hmm, she ethnic 
and the bigotry will not be weaponized by Agberos in certain quarters. Okay, I think this person is trying to make, make it clear that now you are saying that anybody that does not do well should no no should not be allowed to come back the second time but the truth of the matter according to what uh, kosichuku has said is that you people will you even allow the right person to even take over would you allow the right person to take over the authority the position if at all uh, this uh, the people are saying this is what they want i beg stop the hypocrisy all right that's what he concluded with all right that's another strong one well according to dan tani bagudu say well if our votes were counted accurately you won't be there for the first time talk of second time hmm, that's so serious all right this is getting more serious right now well replying to that isaac daniel said well they are not ready to change you want to keep performing poor and then expect religious leaders to keep calm and then watch you carry out your atrocities yes it won't work all right a lot of people are actually reacting on to this one well thank you mr president so they are just unpatriotic coming from adewale atanda that they are just unpatriotic citizens nigeria is great nigerians are blessed nigerians are god's special people not many people can understand this okay this one is another term when votes don't count to oh, oga i beg you make you leave that who is deceiving who? Nigerians should learn to differentiate between their country and its leadership. Leaders come and go, but the country remains. Well, coming from David Aware says, Well, this your tenor did not you know, favor us at all. Oga, now one way you follow, enter, leave us, I beg. Okay, that has been said by us, David Aware. Well, he is very right on his statement. The leadership or politician should be shown the way out through the ballot. There is no failed country, but there is a failed leadership. Okay, that's another one. Well, continue fixing Nigeria, sir. No pay, no gain. Nigeria shall be great again under your administration. Whoever is against it will not live to witness your success. All right, that has been said by Iyo Haye Production. Well, coming from Adams Ejigbo says, Well, it is hard to believe in what you said. No to another term. If a leader is bad in today's Nigeria political circle, where Heineck and the judiciary has monetized the old system. What you said is not possible, sir. Next time, you will use your money again, again, and then against the will of the masses, as voting is no longer counting in our political system. All right, I think uh, onto this one, a lot of people have actually said it all. That if actually the way they are saying it is the way it is, and uh, I'm sure by now, would have no be fine we have, would have been fine in the in the situation we have found ourselves right now because the hardship with everything that is going on it wouldn't have been the way it is and then as it stands it's only the good lord that will help us like i always say because these people will always say what they cannot do and exactly what it is well baba god now your hand with the onto this me while let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless <laughs>